Head Excel, A Level Maths, Statistics and Mechanics, Summer 2018, Question 3. In an experiment, a group of children each repeatedly throw a dart at a target. For each child, the random variable H represents the number of times the dart hits the target in the first 10 throws. Peter models H as a binomial model with number of trials 10 and probability 0.1. Firstly, we need to state two assumptions Peter needs to make to use her model. Well, as it's binomial, and we've got this probability of 0.1, we're saying that the probability of a dart hitting the target is constant. It needs to be constant for us to use the binomial model. And another assumption, very closely related, is that each throw is independent. The result of one throw of the dart doesn't affect any of the others. Now for part B, we want to use Peter's model to find the probability that H is larger than or equal to 4. So to start with, we're going to use the fact that the probability of H larger than or equal to 4 is equal to 1 minus the probability of H being smaller than or equal to 3. Now we could do this the old-fashioned way, work out the probability of H equals 0, H equals 1, 2 and 3, take them all off. But if you look, this question is only worth one mark. It's worth one mark because they're expecting us to use our scientific calculator for this. So using the binomial function on your calculator, we're going to put in 3, which will give us a value of 0 0.9872, which taking away from 1 gives us an answer of 0 0.0128. Now for each child, the random variable f represents the number of the throw on which the dart first hits the target. Using Peter's assumptions about this experiment, find the probability that f equals 5. So if f equals 5, that means the child has hit the target for the first time on their fifth throw. So that means there are four misses and one successful one. The probability of a successful throw is 0.1, hence the probability of an unsuccessful throw is 0.4. Therefore, we've got 0.9 to the power of 4 to represent the four missed throws times by 0.1 for the one successful throw, and an answer of 0.0656. Now, Thomas has also got a model for this, but in his experiment, he's assuming that no child will need more than 10 throws for the dart to hit the target for the first time, and he's modeling the probability of f equals n as 0.01 plus n minus one times alpha, where alpha is a constant we need to find the value of alpha. So what we're going to do is we're going to list in a table all of the options, the probabilities for these 10 throws. So we're listing the numbers 1 to 10 across the top. Now the probability that somebody hits it on the first throw using our formula up there is 0 0.01 plus 1 minus 1 times alpha, which leaves us with just the 0 0.01. Probability that f equals 2 is 0 0.01 plus alpha. f equals 3, the probability is 0 0.01 plus 2 alpha, and so on, all the way up to the tenth throw, where our probability is 0 0.01 plus 9 alpha. Now, as these are all the options, we know that the sum of them must equal 1. So using our formula for the sum of an arithmetic sequence, we get the number of trials over 2, so 10 over 2, times by the first and last terms added together. So 0.01 plus 0.01 plus 9 alpha. And this is all going to equal 1, as we've just said, because the sum of probabilities equals 1. Simplifying the fraction and the bracket gives us 5 lots of 0.02 plus 9 alpha equals 1. Dividing by 5 gives us 0.02 plus 9 alpha equals 0.2. Taking away the 0.02, We've got 9 alpha equals 0.18, which gives us alpha as 0.02. Now using this, in Thomas's model, we can find the probability that f equals 5. So we're putting 5 in for n, we're putting 0.02 in for alpha. So the probability must equal 0.01 plus 4 times 0.02, which is 0.09. Now finally, we need to explain how Peter's and Thomas's models differ in describing the probability that a dart hits the target. Well, Peter's used the binomial uh, model, 
Hence, her model assumes the probability of hitting the target is constant. It's 0.1 each time. Thomas, on the other hand, has a changing probability. So his model assumes the probability of hitting the target is increasing with each attempt. And there is our difference. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.